What is wildlife habitat? Lesson two, food. Wildlife food can be grouped into two major categories. Foods are either plant material, these are foods derived directly from plants, or they are animal material, foods that are other animals. Plant-derived foods include fruits, nuts, seeds and catkins, herbaceous plants, woody plants, and nectar. And there are some common terms associated with each of these plant-derived foods that you should become familiar with. Fruits are often referred to as soft mast. The term mast is derived from an old English word that meant the nuts of forest trees that have fallen to the ground. But we use the term soft mast to refer to fruits. Soft mast includes berries produced on shrubs and vines, including blueberries, raspberries, and fruits of dogwoods and viburnums. Berries produced on trees, such as those produced by the cherry trees and the service berries that grow as trees. And fleshy fruits, such as those produced by apples, crab apples, and hawthorns. Now it's probably obvious, but the plants I list here are only a small sample of the plants that produce soft mast. There are many online resources that provide a comprehensive list of the native and non-native plants that produce soft mast in New England. You should become familiar with these plants and learn which species grow in upland or in wetland habitats. Here, I will simply direct your attention to one resource that is published by UNH Cooperative Extension called New Hampshire's Trees, Shrubs, and Vines with Wildlife Value. You can find this resource easily by Googling it. I've also included a link to this resource in the description of this presentation. Wildlife species that eat fruits as a large proportion of their diet are called frugivores. Cedar waxwings are a great example of a frugivore. Here in New England, a large variety of birds and mammals include soft mast in their diet. This slide just provides an example of the wildlife species that use different types of common fruits. And yep, even though many folks don't like poison ivy, its high fat fruits are very important food for many wildlife, especially woodpeckers and migrating songbirds. Nuts are often referred to as hard mast. Most hard mast is produced by trees, and the most common hard mast producing trees in New England are oaks, American beech, and the hickories. Black walnut, butternut, and horse chestnut trees also occur in some landscapes. These trees have often been planted and are frequently encountered around old homesteads and abandoned farms. It's my understanding that few wildlife actually eat horse chestnuts because they contain high concentrations of secondary chemicals that make them toxic to most wildlife. Horse chestnuts are especially toxic to people. Here in New England, we also have two shrub species that produce hard mast, and those are beaked hazelnut and American hazelnut. In New England, there are about 35 vertebrate wildlife species that regularly include hard mast as an important part of their autumn and winter diet. These species include deer, bear, squirrels, and white-footed mice, and other wildlife folks might not think of as eating hard mast, such as wood ducks, foxes, raccoons, woodpeckers, blue jays, and nuthatches. All right, so all of these nuts are obviously the seeds of these plants. All seeds are technically hard mast, but when most folks use the term hard mast, they are usually referring to the nuts that you see on this slide. Smaller seeds are also readily eaten by many birds and mammals. These seeds include the winged samaras of maples and ashes, the seeds of basswood and pines, the small seeds of birches and hemlocks, and the seeds of a wide variety of shrubs, including witch hazel, hop hornbeam, ironwood, and speckled alder. Wildlife that eat nuts and seeds as a large component of their diet are called granivores. But numerous species incorporate seeds into their diet, and this slide gives examples of different wildlife that eat seeds produced by different types of trees and shrubs. Feel free to pause or come back to this slide as a reference. 
The publication Good Forestry in the Granite State is a good resource if you want to learn more about hard and soft mast and ways to enhance mast production to benefit wildlife. The free PDF and online version of this document is available on the UNH Cooperative Extension website at extension.unh.edu forward slash good forestry. Catkins are structures that contain hundreds of tiny flowers that are pollinated by wind, and depending on the plant species, they can be male or female flowers. Catkins are a high protein food that are eaten by wildlife, including rough grouse, wild turkeys, northern cardinals, cedar waxwings, and squirrels. Many wildlife eat the leaves, stems, and flowers of herbaceous plants, and these species are often considered grazers. Some species eat the roots of herbaceous plants. For example, the summer diet of beavers includes a large proportion of cattail and pickerel weed roots. When you hear the term browse or woody browse, this refers to the leaves, buds, and the current year's growth of woody plants. And animals that eat these plants, such as deer, moose, and snowshoe hares, are often called browsers. And deer, moose, beavers, Porcupines and voles often scrape or chew the bark off trees to eat the inner cambium. Wildlife that eat primarily the leaves, stems, and roots of plants are called herbivores. Wildlife that eat nectar as their primary food source are called nectarivores. Insects, particularly the pollinating insects, represent nearly all of the nectarivores in New England. The ruby-throated hummingbird is really the only true vertebrate nectarivore that we have in New England, but many birds and mammals, especially squirrels, incorporate nectar or tree sap into their diet. In other regions of the U.S., particularly the Southwest, bats are important nectarivores, but all of the bats in New England eat insects as their primary or sole food source. Foods that are animal matter include insects, fish, other vertebrates, and worms. Wildlife that eat primarily insects are called insectivores. Most songbirds, shrews, amphibians, and some snakes are insectivores. Wildlife that eat primarily fish are called piscivores. Ospreys, bald eagles, loons, mergansers, and belted kingfishers are all examples of piscivores. Wildlife that eat vertebrates other than fish are called carnivores. This includes all of our weasels, bobcat, our hawks and owls, and many snakes. Wildlife that eat worms as their primary food source are called vermivores. American woodcock, American robin, many shorebirds, and moles are the most common vermivores in New England.